this is the last time I'm addressing this, then I'm not addressing this anymore. So I'm going to be tagging Squiddy in this video since she wants to make views and make money off of my situation. Oh, you're going to make money, all right. You're really going to make money, all right. I'm going to show you how much money you're going to make off of this situation when you don't make any. I'm going to show everyone exactly who you are as a human being. Okay, let's get into it. I'm going to be showing a video because I want to share this video with you and then I'm going to share some other stuff with you. I don't have the other video because my brother has got a video, but anyways, I will be showing you some videos. Honey, 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 only one of us is breaking the law right now and I did call the cops on you, okay? I called the cops and reported a suspicious vehicle because y'all have been sitting there all day and all night shitting and pissing on the sidewalk like animals. Um, and then I also told them that they, they need to do a prior uh, welfare check because there's an elderly woman living in the car with them now. So have fun dealing with that bitch. So let's talk about that. You keep walking by my car and literally harassing me. Second of all, I'm not an animal. I'm a black woman. So you as a white woman, which I know people are going to say stop playing the race card, should not call black people animals. You called the cops on black people and said that a suspicious car, when we have nowhere to move because our car is unmovable, we can't tow the car anywhere. So thank you for trying to get us kicked out of, a, out of our spot after you got us kicked out of our place. And then let's get into it you're trying to profit off of making me homeless you said you were got in the creator fund in february now that you're getting this newfound um views and likes and clicks for whatever it is now all of a sudden you want to get back into the creator fund and fill out your tax information after you got me fired which i will be tagging you in this video and thank you for boosting my views because i got 11 111 million views and my likes are going up you literally had the nerve to call me a bitch outside of my name when you as a white woman were so giddy and so happy at the fact that you called the police and proceeded to call me a black woman an animal this is why i hate pe white some white people that's racism and anyone who says that i'm playing the race card is is crazy because that is not okay for you to be giddy and happy that you call the police on a black person and then proceed to call them animals okay let's get into it here is her saying someone saying if i could i would make money off of talking some more nasty at my work i do the same two girls sounds like your job is hard so you can talk nasty and deplorable to people at your work and still have a job if i was this job I wouldn't have you working there considering the fact that you are talking disgusting about people at your work being that you're a housemaid or what is it not a maid because people get mad you're a housekeeper and your your house literally looks like it's cluttered it literally looks like hoarders but you're talking about me hoarders part two okay so let's get into the rest of it shall we Here's you showing my personal mail, right? And for people saying that she didn't outright name me, people asked me if I was okay because they saw she shared that. I didn't see it. Other people didn't. They said, they asked me, they were like, um, you know that your maid's posting this stuff? They literally shared. Shared that with me and knew who she was talking about. Mind you, she's online showing my my mail which was sent by trolls mind you trolls were applying for me at colleges and sending this to me but this is what you show sorry my mom was in the background this my mail let's get into it some more this is her account for anyone that wants to follow and give her views because clearly she wants to get views off of a homeless person and 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 wants to get views off of calling a black woman an animal because clearly that's what i am is an animal and mind you my hair is a mess because our car is unmovable you called the cops which they said we had to move now which we don't have a place to go oh and let's get into this because i want to talk about this you showed resources and help to people you got evicted and say look here's resources and help let me tell you something about joy junction it's none of any's biz anybody's business why we can no longer go to joy junction but why i would appreciate it if you stop showing stuff and stop saying look they can get her to a shelter when literally we're supposed to lose all of our belongings like our clothes and stuff 
and we're supposed to leave it here for the car to get towed because it's not movable and have them take us to a shelter right so we're gonna go to a shelter and leave all of our personal belongings behind all of our chargers our clothes everything because you want to call me a bitch and then proceed to call me outside of my name a black woman mind you and again you know that's crazy you got so mad but i do want to share this with people because this needs to be shown That's literally you walking by our car harassing us. And you saying that uh, I called the cops on you because you broke the law. First of all, you, you're you not supposed to share personal information from someone that's at a hotel or motel. You do know that, right? Considering the fact that you shared information that nobody knew because I don't tell people because I get harassed and now they're going to follow me and dox me. Mind you, while all putting my family in danger, this is the last time I'm going to address her because I'm not going to give her clout. But I mean, a lot of people are, they're going to go follow her, boost her, give her money after she called a black woman an animal and never see, proceeded to call her a bitch. Oh, I'm a bitch because why? Because I was going to call the police no i said i was gonna get you fired and mind you multiples of videos and that's not the only video we got of you walking by the car so next time you want to do something like that don't do it please don't do it and i would advise you all to give her give her money after making people homeless and then saying there's an elderly woman sleeping in the car why are you so concerned for my mother when you caused us to get evicted why don't you tell people that and it wasn't because we couldn't pay rent it was because of you Oh, we didn't let you into the room because our room was dirty. First of all, your friend, who was also going to get fired too, was literally next, was, was, was coming, not next to you, but was coming to our room to literally do a inspection and said that if our room is dirty because they were getting reviews, that they were going to have to ask us to leave it. She kept doing random inspections and said our room was clean. So why are you going to lie? And those damages that are done to the room, the door that you showed, the, the stove, the lights, that was all done by the previous people that stayed there. And also the hole in the, in the um, closet that you didn't show. Why don't you show the hole in the closet? So you're trying to say we did those damages. The last person who worked there, she walked into our room and saw how it was. Because when we walked into the room, it smelled of smoke. We got that room because that was the last room there was. Our refrigerator was broken for two months and we had to shove stuff in our freezer. This is the last time I'm talking about this. But you responding to people showing my, my mail, mind you, my mail, call never mind i'm not even gonna repeat it because people ain't gonna care about that part you know make this girl famous you know give her all the views that she wants it is so sad that you need to to make someone homeless to get views and you're still responding and you just responded to someone four hours ago being so giddy at the fact that you can make money off of my situation i hope you do I hope people really have humility in their hearts to see that that is so messed up. Why? We've been parked here? Oh, we parked here because we chose to or we parked there because we can't move? Thank you. Thank you. You show me just how horrid white people really are. Thank you. So I said I wasn't going to address the housekeeper, but I had to address it because she's lying to y'all. First of all, TikTok has the option to add links to charities that you want donated to in your TikTok bio. You do not have to join the TikTok Creativity Beta Program to get people to donate to a charity because that to me doesn't make sense. You said some of it's going to somebody and some of it's going to charity. Yeah, that charity is your charity, the charity of you, the charity of getting someone evicted and then you realized you was getting views. So you decided that you was just going to use my situation to make money. And when I called it out, you literally said that you was going to donate to a charity. First of all, you were liking comments saying, get that bag, make that money, let's be for real. And the comment that I showed was someone saying to make money off the situation. Nowhere did you say anything about a charity. 
TikTok has the option for you guys to add links. Do not believe anyone that says they're joining the, they're joining the creativity beta program to donate to a charity because you don't have to. You're expecting people to give their hard-earned money to you to watch many videos over one minute to donate to a charity and you're supposed to expect us to have proof. I hope that you have proof that you are donating to a charity. Otherwise, I don't believe it because it's not going to her. She can just add a link to the charity that she wants it donated to in her bio. She doesn't have to go through all the process of adding her tax information because you're paying taxes on money you're donating to charity. Or maybe you're trying to not pay taxes. That's why you're donating to charity like all the other rich people. Um, I could screen record this and show you, or you could go on TikTok and do your research about how to add a charity to your profile, but you do not need to join the creativity beta program to donate to charity. It is false. It is a lie. She's trying to get you to watch her videos because she saw the view she was raking in and because she decided, Hey, let me join the creativity beta program. That's why she saw she hit 1.3 million views talking about me and she rubbed her grubby little hands together, called me an animal, mind you, which is disgusting. I don't think any charity would want you to donate money from a video that you called a black woman an animal, which I'm tired of people saying, oh, she's playing the race card. In the other video, people said I'm playing the race card. And also people said I was not black when I mixed. I'm Hispanic and black. But that is very disgusting of you to literally cause someone to get evicted, <coughs> call someone the B word, and then proceed to call the cops on a black person and giddily be excited that you said suspicious car and want to donate that money to a charity. Do not buy that BS. Please do not believe her and actually go donate money to a legit link and charity. Do not fall for that, please. She's trying to pull the wool over your eyes and it's not gonna work. I hope your charity, mm -hmm. your charity, your own hands that you're trying to use to literally make money off of me works really well. The charity of you, you, and you. Have a nice day. I just wanna say about this Dana and Rhonda situation, I haven't been able to get back into the drama of that because I was one of the first people to see all of this. So just reminding people that I was the first to this and I thought people would think I was weird because these videos kept popping up on my For You page. Um, I wanna be back in the loop again. So yeah, I wanna be back in the loop cause I wanna, I wanna um, like, you know, be out here guessing with you all about Rana, Dana, um, whoever else, I forget, but anyways. Because I haven't been um, really invested in this, um, all of this. I haven't really been invested in it. But I need to get back into this soap opera. Because it's better than cable TV. <laughs> to be honest with you, this is way better than cable TV. I don't got to pay for that. And here's another thing. Because I know I said I wasn't going to say anything else. But her saying that we piss and crap on the sidewalk. Why are you watching people use the bathroom? Is that not weird? And we didn't use the bathroom when she was walking by. Mind you, we were just sitting in our car. She's bold-faced lying because I watched her walk by the car when she was filming that video. I know exactly because I know the trees and I saw her walking. She was walking to lunch. So she's lying. She didn't see us use the bathroom because I literally saw her. And if I would have had my phone, if it wasn't dead, I would have recorded her because I was going to record her walking by the car. So how are you going to lie and say that when you never even saw us because we were sitting in our car watching you walk by as you made that video? The lies you tell. Oh, but she's got she's got another thing coming for her. And I'm not going to dox. I'm not going to harass. I'm going to do it the legal way. But yeah, there's more coming. So that's all I'm going to say. You should have never done that to my family for money. Like, who do you think you are? You come on the internet calling me an animal and then proceeding to say what you said, which was untrue because we were literally sitting in our car watching you walk by as you made that video. Why did you lie to people? I don't know. 
She's lying to boost her views. She's trying to cover herself. She wants to make herself seem like a good person and say, oh, look, you're sharing resources. So we're supposed to just go to the resources you tell us, like if we didn't try that and it's none of anyone's business. I'm supposed to lose my personal belongings because you want to make money. Wow, I hope you make all the money in the world. I'm not even going to be rude. I'm not even going to be nasty, you know, anymore. Good luck. I hope karma serves you a good one. So to the lady who keeps making videos lying on me saying that I'm getting disability from my mother. First of all, why is it everyone's all of a sudden coming out to try to make money off of my situation? Um, okay. That's weird. Um, second of all, I don't get my mom's disability. She was denied. She got a lawyer to fight it. Uh, they, they didn't win her case. She, they said they could no longer help her. She tried to find another lawyer. She gave up. Um, imagine living in a country of the United States of America where you got people, you know, the whole Gypsy Rose situation, the mother faking her disabilities and giving her medications. People like that get assistance, but my mom, who is clearly hard of hearing, has asthma problems, thyroid and back problems, doesn't get disability, and is denied. I don't know how many times I have to tell people that, but I'm not living off my mom's money. But thank you. You want me to live off my parents' money so bad. What are you going to bring up? My dad's disability. He's in jail again. So he doesn't get disability. They um, denied his disability because he went to jail. Now he's back in jail and still hasn't gotten his disability. We've been trying to help him with his mental illness. But that's okay. You know what's funny? Is all these people coming out and kicking somebody while they're homeless and they're down to make money off of them. And everyone's applauding that. You know what exactly the person who you sound like kicking homeless people while they're down? Trump. Remember in Project 2025, he wants to jail people who are homeless? Yeah. You sound just exactly like mega supporters. Anyways, have a good day. Girl, also, it was not wise of you to say that you rent from your cousin and show your place. You just doxed yourself. <laughs> is, this, is this real life? Is this real internet? You doxed yourself to show that your place was not cluttered and then proceeded to show your place. When pizza starts getting sent to your door, when people start sending the police, I'm not going to tell you I told you so. I don't condone, like, doxing or sending anybody to anybody's house, but you just morally messed up. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't with you. I can't, you, like, nah. Did you just do that? You know what? I'm not even going to tell people. I'm tired of telling people. They're going to learn the hard way. I don't condone doxing. I don't want you to blame me if something happens. As people start sending people to your door, it's not my fault. Not my fault. So I'm going to talk about it because this needs to be said. She, uh, her walking away, she's walking by our car lying. Like that video that she made saying that she saw us pissing and crapping on the sidewalk and called us animals. We were sitting in our car watching her walk back and forth. I think she walked to lunch, but then I don't know because she came back with nothing and walked back. Like, that's how I know she's harassing us because my brother even literally caught her walking by the car. He was here. So for her to lie to people and say that we're using the, the bathroom on the sidewalk was a lie because me and my mom were sitting there watching her as she was walking and I thought she was listening to music, but the whole time she was making that video, I should have jumped in her video and said, hi, because you know what's crazy is, is that people are justifying this girl's lying. How are we using the restroom when there's places that got cameras and there's cars everywhere, but she's lying to you? Have a good one. I mean, I, I, I don't know why, but 
It's just some about people defending somebody. Oh, she's harassing you, but she's walking away. No, she's walking by our car so she can see if we're still here. So that way she can keep calling the police. Well, she's not going to keep calling the police anymore because I'm going to do something about it. <laughs> like, do you not get that? Like, we're just not, e we're not even bothering her. What's the need for her to keep walking by and then threaten me with the police? Like, you're the one who, who brought this on yourself. And she should have never posted that video. People already knew who she was talking about because they sent it to me. And I have proof. I have proof that people asked me if I was okay and said, because this person posted a video about you. They knew exactly who she was talking about. You, like, hello? Okay. You keep constantly making videos about me saying how you ain't as scared of me. I'm not trying to make you scared. That's not what I'm trying to do. More Principle is principle of it. You work at a job where you just showed how shitty their apartment was. Mind you, when they find out we didn't do those damages, you're the one that just showed that the place didn't even fix the damages that were done from the previous owners. You know you just outed your place for not being clean? Did you know you just put the business out there like that? Hello, I've got proof we didn't damage it. You showing the door, you showing the stove, the light, whatever it is that you tried to show, that was the dumbest thing you could have done because literally... Those were damages from somebody else that you guys never fixed. So thank you for proving our point. And if you don't believe me, go to the reviews because there's thousands upon thousands upon thousands of reviews of people saying that they got an, um, a room there that wasn't clean. And there were damages. Mind you, it's not about making you scared. You literally keep making these videos. You keep responding to me. And you showed my place. And even though you didn't mention me, I didn't tell people anything for a reason because I'm getting doxxed. You just put me out there like that. You put me out there like that. It's not your right. What gives you the right to think you give? You should give people information. You're a housekeeper. You clean rooms for a living. So stick to cleaning rooms. You don't work the front desk. And even if you did work the front desk, you would know you're not supposed to give information. I I would be worried because if someone had to be safe, they were in like the protection program for the police, you would out them. Like that's so crazy that that this company has somebody working for them that is literally giving information. Well, I I I I don't know what else to say. That's just horrible. But anyways, you do you, I guess. I mean, she's going to keep responding. I'm not going to respond back anymore. Just let her respond. She's making it worse and worse for herself. You just cost your job by showing how bad the place was. Oh, what? You showed my garbage, but that doesn't explain why that door was messed up like that when we got it. Or why the room smelled like smoke. Or why our stove was broken. Or why we didn't have a refrigerator for two months. And I was on live stream saying that all that stuff was broken before we got, when we got there. It's screen recorded. And yet you continue. Okay, well, it's going to be documented and reported. So have a good one. I'm not trying to scare you. That's not what I'm trying to do. Principle is principle. Also, do want to address this because I guess people ain't really going to care. But you called me a slow A-S-S-B-I-T-C-H, I think is what you said. That's ableism. You know what's funny is, as I saw Caleb in her comments, Caleb, you literally said you're tired of the race baiting. First of all, black women are tired of being referred to as animals. Imagine being homeless and someone that you never talked about about on the internet called you an animal because she said you were using the restroom on the sidewalk, which you wasn't. I wasn't using the restroom. 
And I got referred to as an animal for no reason. I am literally black and Hispanic. And if you don't know the history behind why it's not a good idea to call black women animals, why are you as a non-black person trying to tell a black person how they should feel about that? Imagine treating someone like they're not a human being and then feeling like you're getting criminalized for being homeless. What? Okay, I guess. I have been a pretty silent watcher of Tofia Chu for the last year and a half and I've had so many thoughts, especially with this whole current situation. You know, at first, when I first started watching Tofia, I was really under the impression or I think part of the point of view that I held at that time was a lot of the treatment that she was getting was because of the fact that she's an unconventionally attractive plus size person and I do think that in some aspects that does have a hand in it at times however after being here for a while and fully analyzing and realizing her behavior i completely understand why it is hard for people to be empathetic towards her i also do want to acknowledge that i know that there is some type of developmental delay within tofia i think that it's obvious to a lot of us but it is not to the extent that she tries to utilize it to be um, to say that it is concerning that they are on their third round of homelessness slash housing insecurity is a complete understatement. I'm not sure if Brother Chu is still in, employed at this point in time at, at all because I'm really just like not as into the lore as I was at one point in time. But from what I understand is that they're living off of Mama Chu's disability and maybe like the little slither of an income that Brother Chu gets. I feel like even labeling Tofia as just lazy, it's that's an understatement too, a vast one. I'm also fully aware that she has been in LOL Cal territory for a while now too, and I unfortunately feel as though she's brought that upon herself. However, this is concerning. I mean, like at this point, I feel like it's getting to the point where there's layers and components of it that is almost like too much to pick apart because there's no way, like in a way, I feel like, well, obviously her not getting a job is deliberate, but you must not be that afraid of facing the reality of homelessness. Like there's no way for this to be like the third time within the last two years that you all are in the same situation. And like at this point in time, it kind of seems even worse than it was before as if that was possible. But your mother is elderly. And I feel so, I feel bad for Mama too. Like she has no support system, um, regardless of like what T Tofia's upbringing was like, cause we don't really know the depths of that. We might know bits and pieces, but we don't know the ins and outs. Um, the way that she talks to Mama Chu and the way that she overall treats her, despicable, but you have an elderly mother that like she can't even age in peace because you are so hell bent on this concept of TikTok pays the bills. And I think it's really concerning too, because it's not even like, Tofia, if you somehow come across this, it's not even like you want to try. Like, at, uh, like I said, at first, when I f first started watching her, I really felt some type of empathy towards her at first because I didn't know the layers of the lore. And I really just thought that people were picking at her. It is concerning beyond measure, Tofia, that at big 30 years of age that you are, that you don't even want to try to just get an entry level job. You don't want to take care of your totality of your existence. Like y'all shouldn't be living like that. You shouldn't not be taking care of yourself like that. You shouldn't be comfortable with being in the realm of housing insecurity and homelessness yet again. And then who's to say that it can't happen again, even if you find someplace and even if it works temporarily because you are so hell bent on not supporting yourself and or your mother you're gonna throw yourself back into those exact circumstances. And it's just like, it's so weird to see it all play out right before your eyes. I'm just, honestly, I feel like I have so much to say on this topic that I'm almost like a little bit flustered. And I have been an avid watcher of her lives for a while now. And I've heard her endless tangents. And it's like really concerning to me that it's like she can't even make the connection of putting herself in a better position putting herself in like giving herself a cushion a soft landing something i understand not loving being a part of the working force a lot of us feel that way but like tofia you have gotten so comfortable to whatever that i don't even know what to call what she's in right now like it, 
that it's almost like you just completely exclude the con not almost you do you completely exclude the concept or the possibility of you just giving yourself a better way of life a better option and a way out and at this point in time it's it's so hard to like i feel bad for her mother but it's so hard to feel bad for her it's almost like weaponized incompetence especially when it comes to this particular subject matter about just getting a job tofia you're 30 this is probably the last thing i'm going to say on the sophia chu topic and this is advice that i would genuinely give to sophia if she was a level-headed person and not so stuck in a victim state and able to absorb what meaningful advice and input other people would be giving her and apply it to her life and make something better of herself tofia first and foremost first and foremost okay you need to take better care of yourself in every single way and i'm not trying to be mean i know that this is a long shot i know that this information is just shoo, straight on over straight over the hedge it's not it's not hitting home right but you need to take care of yourself physically mentally and emotionally primarily physically because you do not take care of your hygiene and she's you're always bringing up the incident about what happened at Dunkin, Dun Dunkin Donuts however many eons ago about how they were bullying you and oh they fired you for poor hygiene or does she even really take accountability for that because we know that that's what happened but doesn't she try to misconstrue that and just say that they were bullying her overall anyway that should be a wake-up call to you and I feel as if if you were like serious about getting yourself together taking care of your personhood how you carry yourself and how you see yourself you would eventually start to want better for yourself that would come with other steps okay let's not get too ahead of ourselves here that would come with putting other steps in place and taking other affirmative action right however if you started taking care of yourself brushing your teeth managing the facial hair doing skincare spending your money on essentials instead of costume theater halloween spending your money on essentials like skincare and crest and hydrogen peroxide because you don't even have to get like crest whitening strips or anything like astronomical to just have better health for your teeth hydrogen peroxide is like three dollars a bottle and it's big and it will help okay you need to start spending your money on that instead of how spirit halloween makeup amazon makeup elf palettes coastal scents palettes bh cosmetics palettes okay because there's nothing wrong with having a hobby but at this point in time you're prioritizing the hobby and the special interest over your actual overall wellness so if you took care of yourself dove uh what else caress i'm trying to think of brands that are fairly affordable um suave suave been around forever like if you need that contact and i'm not even being funny if you need that contact me okay i got you if you need the help if you wanted help if you wanted help for the right reasons there's actually people who would help you but i already know again that's a long shot because you just want hot cheetos and you just want like new graphic t-shirts from hot topic and shit like that's the gag that's why people are like frustrated with you but you need to like start literally taking care of yourself tofia because if you don't see yourself as worth nothing you're gonna keep running into circumstances that are reflective of the fact that you see yourself as worth nothing and the crazy part is bro the crazy part is is like honestly tofia if you were trying like if you were actively trying and had some type of program set in place for yourself to even just at least show the world like hey i might not be exactly where i want to be right now but at least i'm trying guess what a lot of people would actually back off for you a lot of people would actually like leave you alone the reason why you get taunted and you get targeted so much is because of your behavior and your entitlement and your unwillingness to change <laughs> like that's why it's like you're really your own biggest enemy in the midst of all of this and it sucks to see like it's actually really sad but if you don't want better for you aunt karen already had this conversation with you how many moons ago that, that was a little grip ago, right? And you're still in the same exact position. And if now, it, it actually, it seems even worse at this present moment, it, which is like, I never thought that I would be saying those words. I never thought that it would be any worse for you, sister, but it is. Here we are. It's getting worse. Huh?
one last thing the crazy part about it is Tophia if you again were doing all of the right things to help yourself in some type of way if you really have this passion for content creation the way that you say you do and you really feel like you can make an income off of that I'm not gonna shit on your dreams like if you really say let 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 me play devil's advocate for a second if she's really saying that she has a genuine wholehearted love for this type of thing if you were to at least get yourself to a sustainable point in time and like literally hold yourself accountable and get yourself to a comfortable place if you played your cards right you could you could probably do that i don't know i don't know at this point in time because the circumstances are looking pretty grim they're, they're looking pretty grim and slim okay like i'm not gonna lie but but that's the fucked up part about it too is like any chance that you could have at living the kind of life that you want to live you're making those chances slimmer based off of your terrible behavior right now so i'm making this video just to put a sock in it she, apparently she came across my video before hopefully she comes across this one and it and it clicks Tophia, if you need like literally help getting toiletries I, I would help you they might jump my they might jump my bones for saying that but i literally don't care you need to take care of yourself girl and you need to start today in every capacity and i know that that's a process and i know that that's not gonna happen overnight and i know that this is a long shot but i'm trying Bitch, I'm trying to get you out of the fire. But anyway, that's it. That's it for me. Bye.